Good morning, guys. I'm excited because it's 61 degrees this morning. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, it's just really nice and cool today. Uh, the weather is finally breaking, so it's only going to be in the mid 80s. Uh, you know, but actually, you know, I've got some gladiolas that are now starting to bloom. Anyway, um, I'm taking the dog out for a walk, but I am going to be able to get a lot done today. Uh, so I'm going to be trying to put in the ground. I'm going to be trying. I am going to put in the ground. Um, a lot of stuff today because I have some, I just got stuff to get in the ground. So let me take him for a walk and then I'll come back and I'll show you everything that's going in today. I'm excited. Can you tell? <laughs> okay guys, bye. Okay guys, I walked the dog. I'm sort of set up. So take a minute to appreciate the garden. And oh, you know what? That cream rose sunflower is blooming. And of course it's facing the sun, which is <laughs> conveniently located in the east. So let's go around this side so we can get a look at its little face. Um, okay. Uh, through here. Oops, sorry. Let me see if I can go past these roses. Uh, where is it? Oh, there we go. I don't, I'm trying not to step on any of my flowers here. There we go. That's the rose cream. I'll take a picture later on when it's not in direct sunlight. <coughs> oh, this is one of the uh, Senorita. Hang on, let me back up here. Uh, this is one of the Senorita uh, pink zinnias cactus style. I forgot which one this one. This is either Rose Enchantress or the other one. You know, actually, I think the other one is the the raspberry one. So, uh, down here with the Poochie Wooch, who's on his little pillow. I'm enjoying the weather because it's 61 degrees out right now. And it's feeling good this morning. So let me show you what I'm going to be planting. Okay. Uh, so I'm uh, the beds I'm going to be planting are the uh, are the promenade garden. Um, I need to work on first of all I got to do some deadheading, but I need to work on adding more light pinks and whites to this because I have a lot of deep colors. Like for example, uh, the the darker pinks um, that's kind of faded, but that has a, a really deep tone to it. I have a lot of red echinacea, which I'll dead head that and that sort of thing. And so I need more purples, but I also need a lot more light colors and I need some white in here too. Um, so this side is really, really full for whatever reason. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I see some yarrow back there. Um, actually I see what appears to be an aster that's fallen over. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be adding some, I need to add some more light pinks and that sort of thing. And that's what I'll be working on. And I'll just keep playing with it guys until I get the color mix exactly where I want it to be. Uh, but to go in this, I found some lovelies. So I have a, I, it's a lot of echinacea and I do have some seedlings that I started that a little bit later on, I'm going to plant out here. Uh, that'll be that'll be not echinacea because <laughs> I, I I admit that I have a lot. It's just that they did so well. Um, the first year they seemed to struggle, and especially with this heat. Actually, you know what? Considering how hot it's been, like for example, this one right here. This is the envy one. I'm really surprised it actually survived, but I guess the drip irrigation did its thing because typically, um, when I put planted the last ones, they really struggled out here. So, but then they came back, they spread and they're doing wonderfully. And I know every year they're going to get bigger and it's going to be really nice. So to go out here, I got a uh, echinacea called Sun Seekers Rainbow Coneflower. Um, and this one is about, gets about 24 inches tall, 18 inches wide. And it's semi double flowers of pink magenta with hints of orange. Uh, so... I have two of those and then I have a, let's see, 
I also have a Sunseeker salmon right here. And I, I have, like, I had two last year, but apparently the other one didn't come back. So I'm going to put that, um, let's see, I think the Sunseeker salmon is right there. Let me focus, it's over there. And so basically I'm just going to plant it on the opposite side over here to keep the symmetry I've got going. Uh, then I have uh, this one right here. This is a confection series um, echinacea. That one is called Butterfly Kisses. I have six of those and as you can see it's a light pink. It kind of looks like the pink double delight and let's see if one of those is blooming up here. Oh actually here's that's the pink double delight so they're kind of similar looking uh, which is fine you know because it'll give me some uniformity and guys look at this this is that that's that solosia the coxcomb amish coxcomb it is huge um i'm probably at some point today i'm going to cut some of this and start drawing because i want to put that on the christmas tree but that turned out so well and so did the white gomfrina. I mean, it was a pain. It was a pain to start from seed. I mean, I know number one next year I'm going to start earlier, but man, oh man, it was so worth it because uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, but I'm getting distracted, guys. Okay, and so yeah, so I've got six of the butterfly kiss echinacea, and then last but not least, I got some of. Oh, that's the echinacea, which ooh, needs to be watered and cleaned. But let's see. Did I pull it out yet? Okay, here we go. This right here I got from Lowe's. It is the... Um, let me see if I can focus on here. It's called the Buzz Hot Raspberry Butterfly Bush. Need some water. I'll water that before I put it in the ground. Um, and so this one gets, let's see, 24 to 36 inches tall and wide. Um, I have four of them, so two, two on each side. And so I'm trying to figure out where I can put these babies. Hold on a second. I don't know what's going on with this <laughs> autofocus thing here. But, um... I mean, I have some gaps. See, the problem is I have more gaps on this side uh, than I do the other side. So the challenge is, even if I can fit it over here, is that on the other side, it's a problem. So I'll just try to figure, figure out where I'm going to put it here and then go on to this other side. Um, so this is, if I remember correctly, the butterfly bush is, um, I mean, obviously it's a pollinator magnet. But I'm pretty sure it's also fairly drought tolerant once you get it in the ground. So I'm going to start with that. And then afterwards, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry guys, that was, I didn't want you to guys to see my license plate. Um, after that, um, I'm going to start on some of the things that I have over here. Um, I have two Munstead, uh, Munstead Wood Roses. I think I'm going to put that in the promenade. I'll have to squeeze that in somewhere. Uh, the Claire Austins. I don't have any white roses, but I don't know. I think I'm going to get something smaller. I, I have another place I could put those. Um, let's see. I've got some strawberry right there. Um, I've got some amaranth that I'm going to get in the ground today. That'll be easy. Um, down here, let's see. Oh, I forgot. I've got Beaujolais, um, loose strife. I'll give those some water. Those were heat damage. I'm going to put, I have five. So I'll put three on one side. Oops, hold on. So this is the loose strife. Um, it's a deep, deep wine color. So I'm going to plant that out. Uh, it's a little damaged, but you know, our weather's getting cooler. It'll recover. Um, I have five of those. So I'm going to put three on one side, two on the other. And if I find a third one, I'll just, I need one more. Um, right here, there's some small, there's some small, uh, small seedlings I have. Um, there's even some that are in purple. Um, so actually, I'm going to give those some fertilizer and hopefully with the cooler weather, they'll put on a little bit more growth. Um, and I'll pop them in the ground because I can tell you they're probably, I know they're developing a root system while they're still in the little containers. And it's not like they were going to bloom this year anyway. 
Um, I have more stuff down here. I'm sh sure you, you guys can see right there in the pink cups. Um, whatever that is, is growing out of the cups and that's purple. So I can go ahead and plant all that stuff. So yeah, so I've got a bit to be going on with. Um, once I finish planting as much stuff as I can, um, I'm going to plant out the pawpaw trees. Um, I bought some big containers. That's not going to be their final, you know, resting place. It's just for right now, but I've had them in these cans for too long. And last but not least, this is my, um, espalier apple tree. And I'm going to put this in a giant, um, oh, wait a minute, guys. Hang on. I see a lantern fly. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, let's see if I can do this without in the tray. Did I get it? Oh! Y'all, I did it. I got it. Okay, let me just step on it for good measure. Okay, that's dead. Where was I? Okay, yeah, so this is an espalier apple tree. Um, I'm going to have to cut, cut this back, um, because it's going to start losing its shape. I'm going to put that in a six foot long, um, six foot long stock tank. And I'll show you where, um, th that is, but my cousin is going to be coming up and staying for me for a while. So I will, I'll wait till she gets here to plant that out. Cause that's going to take two people. Um, and then I'm going to, if I have time, I'm going to set the post so that I can start planting those Arborvita. They did not do well, um, but, you know, so I know i got to get them in the ground and I actually need to get more uh, tubing. So basically, guys, I got a lot to be getting on with. So uh, let me water everything first and then I'll place everything where I want it to go. Sorry. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got um, all that planted. Um, I wanted to put the Munstead roses in, but the thing is, everything, I was hitting a lot of roots uh, and seeing a lot of fibrous roots from all the plants. I think those roses are going to have too big of a root, uh, a roots ball to get in there without damaging stuff. So I have two other planters. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill those planters up, put the roses in that and, and let them grow in that way. That way I don't have to damage anything that's in the ground. And what I'll do is I'll order some uh, Munstead roses from David Austin. And because they'll be bare root, it'll be much easier and smaller to get in the ground. That way I won't damage anything. Because I'm at the point now in this section that I'm having to sho shoehorn uh, things into the ground. Which is not a bad thing. <laughs> I'm just saying it's just, it's getting kind of tight. So... Um, now that I've done that, I'm going to go in, I'm going to feed the dog, and then I'm trying to think. I'm going to put in those uh, amaranth, and then, I don't know. Oh, you know what, then I'll plant those, uh, tr those I'll, I'll do the roses, and I'll put the uh, pawpaw trees in. And so, i got to figure out where I'm going to put the pawpaw trees, though. Because once I put those in... I don't want to have to move those again. Uh. Um, let me think about that, uh, where I'm going to put them. 
Okay guys, so I'll come back in a minute. Guys, I'm back. Uh, so this is what I'm planting next. I'm gonna be planting this amaranth. Uh, we'll see if it actually, I get anything. Uh, so this one right here is Autumn Touch. So that is, it's like pistachio green at the base and then it has like um, coral colored tips. Uh, this one is more hot biscuits, which I really like. And then over here, we have two types. I have, let's see, this is green thumb and this one is green cascade. So those are gonna go in the green section. Uh, so, so we'll see how all of this goes. You know, if I get something great, if not, no, oh my goodness, is this actually blooming? It, oh my goodness, guys, it's actually blooming in here. And it really is green. So let me hurry up and get those out in the ground. Uh, so let me set up the camera. So apparently this the stick shut off that's why it the angle changed so I got everything planted uh, one of the sections I don't know if it looks a little dry so I'm gonna go ahead and run it for an hour right now um, but yes yeah, so that was 48 amaranth that I got planted I did a little bit of weeding as I was going along as a matter of fact I see a big old weed right here I'm about to pull out and I'm a little bit upset because, guys, I got a new pair of foxglove gauntlets when I went to the flower show this year. And unfortunately, I've already ripped a hole in it. So that's a bummer. So anyway, I'm going to go inside and get something to eat. I'm going to go out and run some errands. And then, um, yeah, I'll come back and see what else see what else I can get into. Oh, you know what guys, I just forgot. I didn't a video tape, but I forgot that I had loose strife. So I, I said I was gonna put three in one bed and two in the other. I decided to put all five in the one bed and I'll just order, I think they sell it at Bluestone Perennials. I'll just order five more um, and and do it that way. Um, with the, uh, the Himalayan poppies, uh, the place I ordered them from has them in stock now. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order, I don't know, maybe four, I, either four or six, and I'll plant get them now because it, the, since the weather's getting cooler, they'll sur definitely survive um, better. So anyway, I'm gonna go inside and get something to eat, so I'll see you guys later.